hand. By the way, the Daily Mail reported that Amber Heard stayed in a house that costs, get this, $22,000 a month in Fairfax, Virginia for this trial. Josh, how does she save the funds for this and not to repay the lawsuit? <laughs> That's a great question. People are going to be digging through her finances real quick here. Um, it, it's funny. It, it, all of this is, is really starting to look um, like a mess for her. And, and just from a PR perspective, like how is she going to... I mean, the fact that we know how much she paid for her house and that that's being reported shows you a lot about how the media has really turned uh, the tide and they've really turned against Amber on this whole thing. Um, it, if I could go back to what Marie said a little bit about Whitney, because I, I, I totally agree with what Marie was saying. I found Whitney to be such an interesting character because she was supposed to be a really pivotal witness. This is supposed to be the one person that Amber can present that actually witnessed violence. And I felt she was credible the way that she testified. But obviously, the jury didn't believe a word that she said because all they had to do was prove one instance, right? One instance of violence would have been truth and enough to make a, de a defense against defamation. And they, the jury listened to her. She seemed uh, credible. She was very subdued. She was very straightforward. But they obviously did not believe a word coming out of her mouth, uh, as indicated by their verdict.